This does not happen in England. We'll take it. We will take it. It can only get better. I have come to Warsaw to find out if Poland has the greatest ultras in Europe. Behind me is the home of Legia Warszawa, the 31,000 seat stadium. Tonight is a, is a decent game, hopefully, between Legia Warszawa and Pogon Szczecin. Uh, there's going to be flares that I expect. There's going to be banners. It's going to be chaos. But first, I've got something a little bit special because I have arranged to have a look around the stadium and see what it looks like in there. So we've come inside the stadium. This is where the Legia Warszawa Ultras will be. We're going to be in the far corner over there when the game starts. It is literally nearly two hours before the game is beginning. And there is going to be 1,300 Pogan Szczecin fans over there. And a lot are already in the stadium. They are raring to go. Stadium-wise, I think it's quite a cool stadium. It's got character. It's got the, uh, the gaps between the roofs where clearly those flares, the flames are gonna go flying out of. Uh, it's a cool stadium. I don't think the quality of the game is gonna be very good. So we're really here for the atmosphere. So I was very kindly given a press pass. This allows us to go to media areas, uh, down to the edge, down the bottom by the pitch and it's gonna allow us to explore. The only problem is the stewards don't seem to know where we're actually allowed to go. So we're trying to work that out right now. Although I say it might not be a good quality game, I am really hoping it is a cracker. Uh, there's gonna be so much to actually see with what will be next to us and the actual match. I'm hoping it's gonna be amazing. I I'm, I'm absolutely buzzing for this. Pass, I've visited the media centre and I've got with me. Yeah, Maciej Fidlik. And what is your job? Hey, I work in uh, Przegląd Sportowy, newspaper, Polish okay. newspaper. Yeah. So, do you come here quite often? Uh, yeah, I think always. All right, the big question is I'm coming from English football, the standard is known as being quite high, right? Even at the lower levels. But what is your experience of this level of, of Polish football? Yeah, Polish football is not. Uh, the biggest level uh, the world, I think, but it's um, quite good for us like, yeah. to watch it because it's our league, so we mm -hmm. must. Uh, I love it, uh, but yeah, English football but, is better. Yeah, it's but you're, you're invested in this, right? Yeah, of course. Yeah, so now Polish football, we do not get anything like this in England, but what should I be expecting? What's the atmosphere like here? The atmosphere is the best. I think yeah. Legia fans is uh, the best uh, fans uh, in the world. Are you biased? Uh, is that a little bit biased? Yeah, it's uh, like they are, uh, they are very uh, strong, powerful. Yeah. They're always singing and um, the atmosphere is very good. And I think uh, today's game, today's game is uh, one of the best. And it's a fairly big game. It's, yeah. it's, yeah. it's, it's, it's fourth versus fifth. But if Pogon win, they go top, right? And it's very, I think it's very, t it's very yes, tight. Yes, yes. Um, and there's still time to go and it's fighting for Champions League and Europe, Europe spots, right? Yeah, yeah. So it's a, it's a big game. Do you think that we're going to have flares and banners today? Uh, yeah, I think so. I hope so, because yeah, I'm I, sat over there and yeah, I'm going to be right I next to so it. Too, yes. uh, Charlie, who's back at home, my wife, she's a little bit worried <laughs> because uh, the ultras, you know, the, the reputation that there is, she's a little bit worried for me. But is there any need for her to be worried? Oh, no, I mean, uh, in the past, when I was very young, I yeah. think five years old, I go to the stadium, find out, and it's, uh, no, it's very safe and uh, the atmosphere is lovely. Well, there you go. Uh, it's hopefully going to be a brilliant game, like I keep saying, and I'm very excited. Yeah, Thank you. I think so. So I've come all the way to the away stand where the Pogon Szczecin fans are. And this is completely alien to an English football fan. It's the fact that there's nets up. We would not have that in the UK because yes, there's rivalries, 
but there's never the extremes. Well, sometimes there is, but we've mostly got out of all that. The hooliganism has mostly gone. But here, they clearly still need it. But anyway, we've got the Pogon uh, Ultras behind here. Uh, we've got the Skybox, which I think would have all the broadcasts. Uh, the pundits would be in there. But I can see this kicking off. Even the stewards behind me there have helmets on. Once again, in England, the stewards do not have helmets. But they're all lined up, they're all keen, they're all ready as mustard, uh, ready to keep the fans separated. So a little bit of sightseeing around the stadium, we are going to find our seats. We are sitting next to the Gileta, which is where the ultras of Legia Warszawa sit. Oh, it's going to be so excited. What I love, it's all English music. Everyone's getting hyped up. There's still about 50 minutes to go. Most of the Pogan fans are already in and there are barely any Legia fans. So plenty of time to fill up. And I think it is sold out as well. So it's going to be buzzing. Yeah. I'm fo focusing, focusing. Just about to go in and I find myself an Irishman. What are you? Why are you here? Because I don't believe you. I don't know what he's saying. I don't know what he's saying. I'm leaving him. He's drunk. <laughs> Typical Irishman, right? Oh, Jesus. <laughs> There's a big banner ready to come down. Wow, um, that is some serious noise. The guy over the mic and the speakers has literally got the ultras going then. The game is still probably about 20 minutes away. This is gonna get really loud and crazy. That was a bit of a shock there. down mostly. Ooh, close. I can't show you the pitch. Uh, there is smoke everywhere. It's chaos. It is loud. This does not happen in England. This is on another level. It's, it's just awesome. What's incredible is down there, there is a drummer and a guy on a microphone and he controls everyone in the stand. There are a few songs I can sing along to. Vashava, Legia, Legia Vashava. I can sing this one. Legia, Legia Vashava. Just into the second half, and a tap in. We'll take it, we will take it, it can only get better. With 74 minutes on the clock, in the ultra stand, all of the flags have been brought down, and they're literally being chucked in a pile in front of the guy with the microphone. I don't know what's about to happen. Maybe, I, well, maybe nothing's going to happen. 
Can you predict what's going to happen? Tell me in the comments what you think. And while you're there, hit that like button and subscribe for more of this. Well, that's the second goal, but it's for Pogon. Uh, it's just him. They're still singing. The ultras are still singing. They had a little hiss. No, it doesn't phase them. I'm not sure if they're actually here for the football, if I'm honest. They're just here for a good time. The ultras are not massively impressed. The players are standing there. Uh, I think they're taking their abuse because it was not a good match. It was really poor. They are letting them know big time. Wow. But they're taking it. They are standing there and taking it. Fair play. Fair play to the players for actually facing the ultras, facing the crowd. And yeah, that sums up their performance. Considering it was a 1-1, so it's not a loss when the players were standing in front of the ultras. Before the players walked away, the ultras said, you are a disgrace. You are shaming our Legia. That's, wow, strong words. Right, let's get out of here and give our final thoughts from the game. Before I give my final thoughts, I want to show you the statue of Kazimierz Dana. He is a Polish and Legia icon. He was around many years ago, but he also featured in Escape to Victory, that amazing film with some fantastic characters, Pele, Bobby Moore, Stallone. Yeah, he was in that too. And he is an icon around here. Oh, wow. How good was that? It is the morning after, and I want to talk about some of the good things and some of the bad things about the experience. I have just taken part in. Now, some of the good things I want to say is that that atmosphere was incredible. The ultras in both of the teams were going for 90 plus minutes. Literally throughout the game, they did not stop. And it was just chaos. It was organized chaos. Um, the flares at the start was just, wow. Um, <laughs> I'm sort of lost for words because it's not something that we experience in the UK or certainly not in many years that I've been alive. So it was a new experience. It was a real event. That's what was cool about it. The pre-show before where they had all the lasers, they had the violinist, uh, they had children on the pitch. And when they announced the players, the sort of lights beamed onto, onto that that child in in the certain position that the players were in and that was it was I, I that was a really nice touch to get the kids involved that was quality now some other things that were pretty good was the stadium in general uh, I know they've got different aspects to for safety but it was a really really cool stadium it was a good view pretty much everywhere uh, the stewards were mostly pretty cool they, they were friendly uh, they didn't you know incite any issues uh, they let people have fun on the majority of times I know there was times where the stewards were like get to your seat please uh, to other people when they were standing at the front uh, or on the stairs which makes sense that's that's simple health and safety that's fine but I was so impressed with the ultras the way that there's one man and there's two drummers organizing everything, the, the banners coming down. I really don't know, uh, uh, underneath, so I have uh, one of my subscribers who sent me some footage, who was actually underneath the banner, and you can't see a lot, and that was shown at some point in the video. And uh, so I was thinking, oh, that's gonna be on there all game. It wasn't, the, the, the banner was there uh, at the start of the game, it was there, there was a massive injury at the start of the game and a player had to go off, the banner came down. Uh, and yeah, I was hoping that the flares would be more. The flares were right at the start, which was cool. I was hoping maybe later in the game, but it, there wasn't, but that's fine. Now onto the downsides of this game. One of the biggest things I found out is that there, yes, the quality of the match is pretty poor. It's pretty poor. 
Uh, I, it's not it's not up to Premier League standards, and that's obvious. Look, the money in Premier League is huge compared to in the Polish divisions. And I'm not just, just saying the top division, I'm saying even further down, obviously, as well. But one of the things, actually, that quite disappointed me is because the ultras are singing, and it's not just the ultras, pretty much everyone is singing 90-plus minutes throughout the game. When a goal goes in, there's no euphoria. It, it's it's almost as if no one saw the goal go in. In English football and, and probably other football uh, other countries, when a goal goes in, there is a real eruption uh, and that's an euphoria, and that is fantastic. That's what you're waiting for in football. You're waiting for those moments, but because the ultras uh, and everyone is singing all the time, they almost don't notice it. And I think that is a shame. I, th- I don't think that's a good thing. Because there's no real celebration with your team. Uh, Because, you know, where you're singing the whole time, there's nothing extra to sing. Also, there isn't really songs about players. In in English football, we sing about players. Uh, One Polish player that I remember uh, for playing for Southampton is Marek Saganowski, uh, who's a popular Polish player. And he had a song. Saganowski, da 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 Anyway, you get the idea. And so there's no real songs aimed at players. But what an awesome experience. Honestly, I'm so glad I've been able to come here. The tickets uh, right next to the Ultras were roughly £10 per ticket. Uh, It worked out 110 zloty. Uh, Zotic. Um, So that's really good value, even just for the atmosphere. Well, I have got some more days to explore Warszawa. Um, You make sure you check out the next vlogs because I will be looking at the old town, uh, the palace, lots of different places, trying plenty more Polish delicious food. So make sure you like and subscribe and stick around for the next videos. If you haven't already seen the Polish playlist, then go check that out because we've got videos from Krakow, Gdansk and Wrocław with plenty more to come, I am sure. Thank you so much for sticking around. I hope you enjoyed. I certainly did. I'll catch you next time. Do widzenia.